Well, uh, thank you guys. Kind of a unique area here. Um, we're currently in the middle of our public test of our election equipment. And so for a few of you, I showed that on the call right at the very beginning here, but we before every election test our equipment to make sure that all of the ballots that are marked read correctly and that it'll work correctly on election day. We then seal our equipment up on election day. We then retest our equipment to make sure that it can work correctly. And then we turn around and we will audit our equipment after the election to make sure that all of our equipment had functioned correctly throughout the day. So we're doing quite a bit of different projects and thanks for bearing with me for this unique interview today. Um, the big news that we've got for today is we expect to crest over 50% of the ballots issued returned to the elections office by the end of the day today. So that is fantastic. Those are record setting returns, something we've never seen here in Missoula County. And we're so excited to be working rapidly to get all of those ballots accepted, verified, and ready to be counted for the election. Um, we are working really rapidly and we wanted to touch base and make sure that everybody knew that polling places are going to be closed on election day. We'll have 11 ballot drop off locations throughout the county, but the only place you'd be able to get a ballot and vote a ballot would be at the election center. And I wanted to run through this because we've had some voters who are a little confused. When we come to the election center, we still issue an absentee ballot. So the ballot that you got, the ballot that you have through the mail is the same as the ballot that you would vote at the election center. If you don't bring that ballot in, we'll void that one that's outstanding and issue you a new ballot. No voter can ever have more than one accepted ballot. So that other ballot is automatically voided and not able to be accepted by the system. Um, right now on election day, we will not have drive through ballot drop off or ballot drop off located at the election center. We want to make sure that the election center is open for voters who need to utilize this service on election day. At the election center, you could register to vote, replace a ballot and vote that ballot there at the election center. Instead of a ballot drop off there, we've been scheduling a ballot drop off location just down the block at McCormick Park. So we're really going to be encouraging voters to come through there. If a voter does need to drop off a ballot at the election center on election day, we will have them queuing in line with the other voters. And this is the next area that I really wanted to come into. In 2018, before we had COVID-19, we had staffed up our election center here at the fairgrounds and we had an hour and a half long wait at its peak amount of time. For this election, we have to enforce social distancing requirements, mask wearing, cleaning and capacity of our building. So we can only have 24 voters in the building at a time and we will be allowing the next voter to come in as the previous voter has exited the building because we need to clean those stations, make sure that they're ready for the next voter to be able to cast a ballot. So if you plan on coming to the election center on election day, we want you to be prepared for a longer than normal wait time. It could be upwards of four hours. So with the weather that we're currently having, we want to make sure voters are well prepared, that they come dressed in layers for Montana November elections, that they have some food with them in case they're in line for an extended period of time. We will serve any voter who chooses to come to the election center on election day. If you're in line by 8 p.m., you will get service no matter how long that that takes, but we want voters to be prepared. And we want voters to know that the best option to not have to wait is to either vote that ballot that was sent to you or come by in any of our extra hours before election day. Starting next week, voters must appear in person to register to get a new ballot or to move from county to county. And so that's critically important is that on the 27th, you must come in person. We can no longer accept a form that you would mail or email to our office. So we've added in extended hours next week. We'll be running until 6.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. And this Saturday and next Saturday, we will have ballot drop off, in-person voting and all services from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. as well. We utilize the rest of that day to help recede in those ballots and make sure that voters can check online and see their ballot as accepted on my voter page. But I really want to encourage voters that unless they need to come on election day, please, Make a plan to vote, vote your absentee ballot you currently have or come by our office before election day for the best service possible. Now with that, I also wanted to talk a little bit about our counting and return schedule. 
We've had some new updates to the law, which we've been able to utilize in both the primary and this election now, which will allow us to start counting ballots a little bit earlier. We'll begin counting ballots the day before the election, Monday the 2nd of November, and we'll run from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. and then we're gonna pause the process, seal up the room and make sure that all of our ballots are stored. And then we'll open again on election day from 7 a.m until midnight and then we'll pause that process again. We'll then continue forward the day after from 8 a.m. till we complete those ballots. Now you notice I didn't give a time because all of the voters who vote on election day need to go through the same security process as any other voter. We're gonna need to verify those signatures and make sure that we physically accounted for those ballots, sorted them, prepared them for the count, and then process them through. Um, as we go through on this, we need to make sure that we are working and taking time to ensure that all of the votes are recorded accurately and all of those signatures are checked correctly. So this is critically important and this may impact the time that returns come out. If we have a deluge of voters who come to on the election day and we have 10,000 ballots that we issued, we're going to need to signature, verify and process all 10,000 of those ballots. We've really upped our staffing and worked hard to make sure that it can flow as quickly as possible, but accuracy is paramount in elections. And we're gonna make sure that when we give you our final results on election night, that they are accurate and that they are valid and ready to go. We're not going to rush this process to get returns early. We're gonna make sure that we do this process with the utmost of integrity. So those are my big areas that I wanted to hit. And just to recap really quickly as we're testing today, we're really encouraging voters to come through our office and vote that absentee ballot. If you haven't seen a ballot yet, get in contact with our office. We wanna make sure we can issue you a ballot and there's plenty of time to vote it. On election day, all of our polling places will be closed. The only place where you can get a ballot is the election center, that's 140 North Russell. So it's right across the street from Home Resource and Pink Grizzly on the corner of Wyoming and Russell, and then that we will have our drop off locations throughout the community, but those will only be to drop off a voted absentee ballot. You can't get a replacement. And then we expect long wait times on election day. They could be upwards of four hours. So we want voters to be prepared. We'd love to do more, provide more services, but with the restrictions in law, this is the best plan we have to keep all voters safe and healthy on election day. And it may mean a longer than normal wait time. All right, I think that's my quick spiel. I, I'm ready for a few questions here. Allison, did I miss anything? Uh, can you just maybe talk about um, the lag time between when someone sends in their mail ballot and when it's going to show up as accepted on my voter page? Yeah, absolutely. This has been one of the big questions and we're working with the state to get an update on their website as well. So the My Voter Page app or that website is run by the Secretary of State and it updates each day from the previous day's information. So there's always a 24 hour delay on that information and the process of taking those ballots, recording them in, checking that signature, verifying it's that voter and accepting it takes a bit of time. We can process about 6,000 ballots on a normal day. And on the very first day we were open, we received in 4,000 ballots in person, as well as I want to say 10,000 ballots through the mail. So we've had a little bit of a backlog. And in Missoula County, we really prioritized those mail ballots to make sure that voters who used the USPS could ensure that that ballot made it to us, was received and accepted. Now, yesterday we were able to catch up on almost every single ballot that we have so that we are caught up till the 20th currently and we're processing through each ballot that day. And we are hoping to get more returns in so that we're always a day or two behind because that'll help us be ready and prepared for counting those ballots before election day. But there is a little bit of a delay both in our processing to make sure that it's accurate and correct and in the reporting to that website. Thank you. Any other questions? Did you say you're going to start running the ballots through that Monday? and then you seal it up. So technically you're, you're starting to count on Monday. Is yes, that that we okay. the primary and we'll start tabulating ballots on the Monday before the election. Okay. We cannot report any results until the polls close at 8 p.m. on election day. Perfect, okay. 
Awesome. So is this um, exciting to have such a record number of ballots returned to your office? 50% you said so far of the ones that you sent out for Missoula County? Yeah, that it, this is our whole goal. Our goal is to make sure that voting is as easy of a process for everybody as possible. With the COVID-19, we wanted to make it as safe as possible as well. And I always say our job is to issue out ballots and count those votes. And what's our overarching goal? The highest voter turnout we can possibly have. And I expect us to crest 80% turnout in this election, which can put it up there with the highest turnout we've seen in Missoula County. Any other questions out there? I have one more quick one. You said next week as of October 27th, you have to come in if you want a ballot, if you want to register, and what was the other one? So if you're moving from county to county or you need to register, we can do some services like replace a ballot, but as we get closer to the election, we want to make sure that there is time for voters if they don't come in person for that ballot to be to them through the mail and then back to us through the mail. Thank you. Bradley, if these guys wanted to come in and get some some B-roll or anything of uh, the equipment testing, would that be possible? You bet. We just got started on equipment testing. We started at about 1230 for our high speed tabulators. We finished up all of our ADA voting equipment already today. However, you could come by the elections building. Sorry, excuse me, the counting center, which is building 35 at the fairgrounds. And we should be processing through these ballots for another couple of hours, as well as also making sure that all of our results balance and tabulate correctly before we seal up our equipment. Thank you. Absolutely. <clears throat> Any other questions, you guys? I am all set. Thank you, Bradley, for all the information. Always helpful. Yeah, thanks. So so the actual counting is over at the fairgrounds. Is that where your machines are? Is that what you're talking about? Okay. Exactly. Yep. Perfect. So we, we have the same building for our counting area as we have had in past elections. Oh, but right. all the other services are located at the new building at 140 North Russell. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. Let me know if you need anything. And I'll send out that link um, to the uh, YouTube channel once we get it up there. Oh, sure. perfect. Thank you so much. You bet. Okay. Thanks, Bye. Allison. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye.